Chronicles on Ugly More and today I'm going to share with you how to make a really, really simple vegetable soup. And you know I love the fruit and vegetable basis of a diet, so what better way to show you to incorporate all these amazing organic ingredients into one pot and a soup. We've got corn, potato, kale, leek, red onions, beautiful Queensland ginger, broccoli, cauliflower, spinach, and look at this amazing pumpkin that was grown with so much love from Jim and Jill. And we've got sweet potato. And that's a good start and a good base for the vegetable soup. Now these are the ingredients that I can get really easily. But, you know, this video is going all around the world. So you choose what vegetables you like and mix them together whichever way that suits you. And you don't have to use all of these, of course, but you can use different, different ingredients and, you know, maybe make just a pumpkin and greens and an onion and you put it together and it'll taste fantastic. But what I really want to show uh, and share with you today is some of the other things that I incorporate into the soup and just to make it that little bit more interesting and to just give it that little bit more zing because um, it's so easy and we can do it and it's all plant based. Now this is arami which is a seaweed which is quite stiff and uh, breakable when, when you get it dry. All you have to do is cover that with a little bit of water and it only takes five or ten minutes and that's soaked and that's fantastic. You can put that in at the end. And then you have wakame, which is another seaweed and I just love them because they're so full of nutrients and they're just filled with calcium. So anyone wanting to build up your calcium intake using food, these are the perfect ingredients. And there's also red dulse. Now, red dulse does not need to be soaked, uh, but your wakame and your orami certainly do. Now, the other things that I like to add into the soup um, is your red lentils, but you can use any of the lentils. And of course, a plant-based diet, that's where you're going to get all your health benefits from. The other thing that I like to do with my soup, and I'll show you at the end, but I just want to introduce you to these ingredients, is I just love these nori sheets. And what I do is I just cut them up and use them as little slivers or little noodles, really, and I put them in the bowl. I'll show you how to do that in a minute, but you all know, you should all know the nori sheets. Now, some of you may or may not be familiar with the kelp noodles. Again, it's seaweed, and seaweed is such an, a, a potent ingredient in a plant-based diet because it's full of uh, nutrients. But this is a um, kelp noodle, and all you do is uh, undo the packet, rinse it, and these go just fantastically. No need to cook them, they're raw and they're gorgeous, but when your soup's cooked, just add it to your soup, mix it around, they go lovely and soft, and just adds that extra texture. Some of the other ingredients that I like to add to the soup is, of course, our wonderful brewer's yeast, filled with amino acids and all your B vitamins. Brewer's yeast is just a, gives that wonderful savoury flavour. Um, and then we have uh, tamarind paste. This is an Asian-style food, and it just... Uh, for those of you who don't know or are uh, not familiar with tamarind, it has a sweet, sour flavour to it. So I love that as a bit of an extra zip to the soup and um, I'll show you how to use that also. Now if you can't get fresh turmeric, which in, in Queensland we're really lucky to have loads of fresh turmeric and I've got it in my garden, but this is another way, this is turmeric paste. And it is a certified organic paste, and I love to add that too. You can add a little bit of lemon to give it a zing, and then finish it off with some flax oil. But I'll put it all together, and I'll show you the finished product in a moment. Making this soup just could not be easier, but I have to explain just a moment ago, while we were going through all these lovely ingredients, we have a lovely Sunshine Coast tropical rainstorm, so please forgive that little bit of nature noise in the background. 
So all you have to do is get one pot, depending on whether it's one person or ten people, you put the amount of ingredients in that's going to suit you. But one pot, put about an inch of water in the bottom, that's all you need, and then you layer your vegetables on top. Now I like to start with the potato because obviously that's going to take longer to cook. So, and I don't peel it, all the goodness is in just under the skin, so washed and make sure it's organic of course from your favourite farmer's market. And then I'll add the beautiful pumpkin and just roughly chopped, save the seeds, make sure if it's organic you get it back to your farmer's market man because they can then keep growing the pumpkins or put it in your own garden. Now the corn, all I've done is uh, peel it and um, split it in half and I love the silk of the corn too because that's very good for you and I just put that straight in as well. Then I've got a little bit of sweet potato, again not peeled, just washed and this is the time I love to add the um, ginger because the ginger gives it, um, the, adds a bit more flavour to the water. And then I've got broccoli and um, beautiful cauliflower. And with the kale, um, as you, you might have seen on some of my other videos, but you split the leaf from the stalk because the stalk's a little bit um, tough. So that goes on top. And then you've got a great big handful of beautiful spinach. So whilst that's cooking, I'm just going to show you how to put the bowl together and the little bits of little things that's just going to make that little bit of difference. Now while your soup's cooking, and it should only take about 10-15 minutes, what I like to do is to prepare in the bowl just some other little different ingredients. So I've got two sheets of the nori and I'm just going to make little noodles out of these. So it's simply a matter of cutting them into strips like that and then straight into the bowl and you can cut these in whatever size you want but this suits me because it, it, it then creates just a, a mouth size um, piece of noodle in your mouth, in, in your bowl and so that just goes in there. Now to that you can add about a teaspoon of the tamarind paste and the um, turmeric paste. If you've used fresh turmeric, obviously you don't need to use this, but everybody knows how good an anti-inflammatory um, thing a, the turmeric is, and this is absolutely awesome. But it's very strong and very potent, so you just need a small amount of that. And again, to your taste, you can make it stronger if you wish and a little bit of lemon juice or lime juice and that just helps to soften the uh, noodles, the nori noodles as well and also that's probably not enough lemon juice to make it really as soft as I want so I'm just going to add just a little bit of water to that and that makes a lovely paste with the tamarind and the turmeric and softens the nori and you can just let that mix together and that can just sit there and wait until it's cooked. Now I'm sure there are some of you out there that are going, and when do you add the salt? Well, there isn't any. Because all of these beautiful ingredients, particularly the seaweeds, have got their own salty sea taste to them and there's no need. Don't kill your food with salt. Just add these beautiful fresh ingredients and there it is put together. If you do want an extra savoury taste, that's when you can use your brewer's yeast or your, some of the um, people from the States will know this as a nutritional yeast. That also adds that lovely savoury salty flavour as well. So no need to add salt guys. This is it. You want to keep your body healthy. This is the way to do it. Okay, so while that's been cooking, and I have to tell you the fragrance is absolutely beautiful and it'll warm any home kitchen and it's so lovely for the kids to come home and be nurtured by this beautiful food. So what I've done 
is I've actually taken the corn out and removed the corn kernels from the cobs and I'm going to add that to the bowls because you can mix it in with your other vegetables if you like but I like again it's that texture factor so you can just add that to the bowls and make sure you get organic corn do not get your corn from any other place except organic because corn is one of those genetically modified foods that they really play with so the only corn I eat is organic and don't buy that frozen stuff it's got to be fresh. Now I'm going to introduce my lovely antique um, bar mix. I've had this bar mix, it's a great ad for it. I've had it for about 30 years and it still works and it's absolutely sensational. So what I love about it is there's very little washing up. So I've got all the vegetables in here that you saw me add and all I'm going to do is put the bar mix in and whiz that up until it's smooth. Now I've whisked the soup up to a smooth texture but again it's up to you. You might like to keep the vegetables whole and then you've got just um, a chunky vegetable soup. So please yourself, it's your choice and it just adds a bit of variety for your family or to yourself. So I like to add a little bit of soup to the bowl and mix the nori noodles around. Now I've used corn this time but you could quite easily use your lentils, Put your arami in, your kelp noodles or your quinoa. So that gives a, a good variety of hugely potent nutritional foods. So just mix that together and add a little bit more soup to that and if you're really hungry get a bigger bowl. If you think this is too much use a smaller bowl. It's that easy. And then all you have to do is add your flax oil, your organic flax oil to that. Remember, don't ever cook with flax oil. All the nutrients get destroyed when it's heated. So just add it at the last minute because it's absolutely filled with all your omega-3 and you know how important that is. And this is the only fats that I recommend and the only oils because it actually activates and carries the oxygen through your blood supply. This is nutrient-rich oil and it's the only one that I recommend. So add that to your soup and there you have a beautiful warm vegetable soup and that would warm the heart of anybody and it's great on a cool winter's night. So enjoy!